Right, what day is it today? It is Wednesday. Oh, look, the 13th, right? Yeah. Although I think I missed... I missed yesterday's, I think. Um, so today we've got Radiance. I don't think I've... I don't think I know Radiance. Hmm, smells nice. They all smell nice, though, to be fair. And to be honest, they all sort of end up smelling the same, don't they? Um, blend of fennel, nettle and peppermint. Okie cokey, nice. So did I miss, did I miss, oh, I missed day nine. So I, the reason I purposely missed day nine because it's matcha green. Now I do like green tea and the Supreme matcha green, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> um, so I will drink it, but probably at the end when I've got none left, because I say it's not my favorite. 15, 16. Like this for me is the best advent calendar in the whole wide world. Oh, 11, day 11. Yeah, I missed day 11 as well because that's ginseng matcha green. As I say, I will <laughs> I will drink them, just... Oh, I did do yesterday. I did do yesterday. I will drink them, just... So I'm just sorting through these flowers. As you can see, they are in a Tesco crate and that is because they came from Tesco's. They, um, I picked these up um, so you remember I was talking about Olio and volunteering. I know I talk about Olio pretty much in every single, <laughs> every single vlog, but that's because I volunteer with them and I use it a lot. Um, so oh, we had a, f we had a few crates of different things. Um, like these would have gone to landfill, plastic and all. Plastic and all people to landfill, ridiculous, isn't it? Um, so some of them have gone over, but some of them are still pretty good. Um, so I'm just going over them because I'm going to take them to see my nan and granddad. <laughs> my nan and granddad are not with us anymore. So I'm going to go to the cemetery. I go every year and I normally buy poinsettias from the shop. Um, but I haven't done this year. And they won't last long because they have rabbits down there. Lots of pesky rabbits. But it's the thought that counts, right? And so because I've got quite a few... Oh, I thought, I, I mean, I've distributed loads as well. Um, but because I've got quite a few, I thought I might go and, um, we're going to take the kids. <laughs> um, see my aunt and granddad, do that every year. Um, only at Christmas, I only go at Christmas. Um, yeah, so I thought I would split them up and just put some on different graves. Um, because... Sometimes, sometimes I do like a secret Santa kind of thing and I'll go and put them on my neighbours, like in the street or wherever. I'll go and randomly put them on people's doorsteps as a treat, as a surprise. Um, but a lot of these, if you look, they're just, they're too far gone. And, oh, there we are. <laughs> they're too far gone and it's very cold at the moment, so they wouldn't, you know. So there, that is the plan. I'm going to go and do that. Um, yeah, gonna go and do that. Also, kids really want to go to soft play this morning. So I'm gonna take them to soft play. We're gonna go to the shop. Um, we're gonna make cakes today to take to forest school tomorrow, but we need to get icing sugar. So we're gonna go to the shop and get icing sugar. We're gonna go to the grave, the cemetery, do the graves. Then we're gonna go to soft play and then we'll come home for dinner. And then, don't know. So these gravestones here and sort of behind us, a lot of them are like Victorian, they're super old um, and obviously they probably don't have any relatives anymore. Um, so yeah, we've just put some flowers on some of these like really, really old ones. That one's been redone, but look, look at these. So old. I was going to see if we can find any, any dates. Yeah, some of them have fallen over. They're so old, you can't even see any dates. Um, oh, this one's a 1945. That one's been redone. It's, I think it's these ones. I think it's those ones over there that are like the really Victorian ones.
I'm not a happy bunny. <laughs> I've got my mum bun rocking at the moment, like, oh. So yesterday, yesterday we went to soft play and I did a bit of sketching while we were there, which is good. And in the afternoon, I just felt absolutely awful. Now, I was supposed to have two fillings on this side. The only fillings I've got, I've managed to get to the grand old age of 42 years. <laughs> just those fillings. Um, and I chipped one a little while ago. Um, <clears throat> And I basically needed to have both of the fillings done. But I couldn't afford it. I could only afford to do one of the fillings at the time. So I only did one. And now, yesterday, oh, massive, massive toothache. It hurts so much. Um, and I just got to the point yesterday, I just... <clears throat> it only really started yesterday as well. Come on, rather quick. No, actually, no, I lie. Um, for a couple of days, like, hot and cold things were starting to feel sensitive, and I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is it. Um, <laughs> oh, and I just felt crap yesterday. And I laid down on the, my bed for a bit in the afternoon, and I just nodded off. I absolutely just... I, I just crashed, and I just fell asleep. Um... Yeah, so I had a couple of hours and John was like, well, the kids are also knackered. <laughs> um, so they just watched their telly. Um, and I slept at night, went to sleep at night, no problem at all, <laughs> slept all the way through. This morning I did the whole like, ah, thing again. Oh, I'm for my daughter's science class. Oh my gosh. I just don't know what's with me at the moment. I just, ah, oh, I just... I don't know. I'm <laughs> just all over the place. Um, sort of pressure, not pressure, but um, because I absolutely adore Christmas, as you guys know. Um, I don't know what it is this year, whether it's the new job or what, but I just feel behind. Ugh, I feel tired and I feel behind this year. Like... It's a self-inflicted behind. Um, apart from wrapping, I haven't done any wrapping at all. At all. Any. Nothing. Um, but I feel like there's so many different crafts and projects and things. We watched our first Christmas movie last night. Of the year, I think. Well, not of the year, but like of this like season. Our first Christmas movie. Like, how how has it got to that point? Like, how have I not watched any Christmas movies yet this year? That is just crazy talk. Like, the state of my hair is horrendous. It's, like, glowing in the light. I'm going to put it in plaits because it's forest school day today. So it will be hot weather. Um, yes, yeah, so we watched our first Christmas movie. I've taken some paracetamol this morning, rung the dentist yesterday and I couldn't book an appointment for my filling because the fact that I needed a second filling seems to have been taken off of my treatment plan, which is really annoying. So the dentist, oh, the receptionist was supposed to be speaking to the dentist this morning and then getting back to me. So I've had some paracetamol, but it hasn't kicked in yet. But yeah, as I say, like, yet again, science. I was like, okay, like, went to log her in and then realised there was a supplies list. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <gasps> Winning. What are we doing, Pickle? Cupcakes. Yeah, we're making for, cupcakes. For forest school. For forest school. Big sister's doing her science class. Dog. You can hear the teacher in the background. Stinks in here because one of the experiments 
used um, vinegar. I'm just going to, she's just having a break in between classes because she's got 10 minutes before her next class. They were dissolving, um, dissolving um, candy canes. Oh, she hasn't filled in her sheet again. <laughs> she gets carried away. She has so much fun doing the experiment and then she doesn't always fill in the sheet. So, um, because it's, it's teacher led, um, so I was making cupcakes with Litland for forest school. So they were dissolving candy canes in one in cold water, one in hot water, one in oil and one in vinegar. And then they did, um, with tissue paper and a balloon, they did um, static electricity and made the angels fly, which is cool. Um, oh, <laughs> concrete is down here drying. So, still drying. But yeah, because it's a um, a teacher led, she like she quite likes to do it on her own, like without me. And her little sister often is loud and noisy and interrupts, and so she doesn't like doesn't like that. So she does it on her own usually. I have decided that I think the this bit is a bit too much, so I'm just going to lightly not as much sanding as that. I don't think. I'm just going to lightly sand this a little bit just to take it back a bit is the theory so I hope it looks okay I'm going to leave the nutcracker and the mouse as they are I was going to put glitter on the mouse king's crown but <clears throat> I don't know about the longevity of that so yes. and I I started to put some white on the top here oh well done sweetie but then I realised that, obviously because it's old, that all the rest of the paint isn't actually white. It's <laughs> more of a creamy yellowy colour compared to the brand new white. So I just kind of took it off again and not bothered. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, because this is moving today. But I might do something in the middle. I haven't decided. <laughs> We've done a pretty good job, haven't we? Oh, they're looking good. That's not got much on. <laughs> You've gone from loads to just a tiny bit. <laughs> Silly. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. We've uh, got a nice mix of sprinkles. It's good, isn't it? Yay. Awesome. So I did just scrape the corners back a bit and uh, <clears throat> just took these just down a bit so they weren't quite so, quite so bright. So they're still there, just a bit muted and faded, so that's cool. Done. Come in. And then this one. Mom. 